Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice ruby breakfast. I think that is pink grapefruit, orange and apple juice as far as I'm aware. Either way, welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We survived the event in the canteen. When I say event, I mean the 60 person riot because the red gang leader was shot and killed. Uh, yes, so that's Alex over here. And we survived it, although we did get the failure state, so we couldn't have more than five people die over the course of the next 24 hours. But overall, yeah, we survived, which is, I guess we'll take that as a win. We also built the other canteen to hopefully alleviate some of these problems. And let's finish that off right now. The last metal detector is being placed, which is good. Let's go to materials and to our concrete tiles. Concrete tiles are going to go up the top there, followed by the white tiles, which will go up the top there as well, followed by, I think, rooms and then canteen. And we'll get this designation put in, and this means that if the game's worked it out automatically, all of these bottom cells will be now connected to this canteen. These two should still be connected directly to the kitchen because they don't go through a canteen, but we can check that on our logistical panel and over to our food distribution. And yes, there we go. So the first four cell blocks are connected to the very first canteen that we built. The second canteen uh, has uh, the service of these two here as well. So that's pretty good. And then these two are obviously connected up to the kitchen. So that's actually all working pretty much fine. So that's okay. We do have some intake on the go to maximum security to arrive. And we're also receiving 1,785 generic units of currency. When it comes to money, we're on 27,000. So what can we do about that? Well, I think it's time we go over to our bureaucracy and to death row. I very much would like to pick up legal prep, but quite frankly, I don't have the 50 grand required for that. However, I will hire a lawyer and then start researching this thing, which means we'll then build this one. Uh, the building down the bottom right, I don't know what I'm going to place this as yet. I mean, it's probably going to be a toilet or something, but I want to leave it empty simply because if there's something I need in an emergency whether it be more power or something like that I know it's very easily uh, it, it's there just ready for us to to use so that's probably what we're going to do anyway um deployment is f oh that's okay I was going to say that's um is that deployment set up to staff only it is not however I will staff only that area because we can this is all set up correctly these are not those should be supermax which they're now sorted uh, the rest of it seems to be fine um Apart from this little bit of wall. <laughs> I did mention about uh, the canteen and the issues that we may have with it. So at the moment we have, how many workers do we have? Staff is 24 staff members and 14 of those are cooks. At the moment they will cook here and bring the food down. Uh, through the main body of the facility to this canteen, which uh, is probably going to be quite slow for them. However, if we want to change that, we can have like a, some sort of... Basically, I'll open up this and have like a little sort of three-door gateway that goes to the outside, which will then connect up to the door control system and an exit probably in and around here, which means that people can go around here all the way down and then in that way, that's the, the canteen staff. So yeah, the chefs will do that. Whether or not that's uh, desirable now, we'll have to see how we get on the next couple of days. It also means door control systems and road gates, which I believe are in the game. Uh, road gates, yes, road gates and road barriers are both in the game, so that would be acceptable. Let's go to building brick and place this building here. This is going to be, as I said, our death row area, so that can go in there. Over to our objects and then to a door we're going to go with. What's that? Uh, is that just a standard door? That is a... Uh, no, it is a solitary door, which will be fine. Uh, we might, should we just, I think we should do remote, because we haven't done remote doors in, well, I can't remember the last time we actually had a remote door, but we'll place a remote door in here, and that will allow, obviously, access in here once we've got the door servos, but there we are. Two more prisoners are due to arrive right now, so we'll go to intelligence and informants and have a quick zoom in just to see what sort of prisoners we have and, more specifically, what traits they may carry. We can see on the right-hand side as well, we've got our informants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight informants. A little bit of suspicion on the top four, but that's 
That's okay. We've got... Oh, we have a strong snitch and fearless inmate here. This is uh, Aston Ashby, prisoner number 9050966, sentenced to 13 years for attempted murder. They have a mother and father, both age 55. They've also previously served... Uh, where is it? Yeah, previously served convictions for violent disorder, rape, and violent disorder. And, yeah, because they are a snitch, they are technically going to go into protective custody. So, pretty good. Let's just have a check at our programs as well. We've got pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, foundation education program, which nobody's interested, so I am going to stop that for the time being. Workshop safety people are in the queue for that one. Guard taser, I can stop that as well. Parole hearing, we probably don't need to alter. We have... Um, Nobody interested in the general education qualification. Behavioural therapy, 31 in the queue, but we don't have any way to do that. Technically, if we wanted to, we could open up this and have a couple of... Um, actually, how is it? A maximum of five, I think? Is it maximum of five? Uh, oh, you can have more than that, psychologists. Oh, foreman. I think the foreman in the latest version of the game, you can have up to five of those so, to work in the workshop, but obviously we... Uh, we don't have that yet, but there you go. Either way, we have obviously people coming in. I see there they are gang members. They are a green gang member. Ten red, seven green, nine blue in total, all told. So there you are. Anyway, over to deployment and to... Hmm. I mean, technically, this is going to be death row, but you can't actually set it to anything like that. So, I mean, I, I guess just staff only for the time being is what we're going to have to manage. And this, yeah, there we go. There's the remote door. So this is the problem with the remote door. Remote doors will not open without a working door servo. You have to have a door servo. You, I don't even know if you can right-click and open it. Um, Lock open? You can lock it open, yes. Okay. So you can cheese it a little bit that way. But we'll put in the door servo and we'll not worry too much about that. So door servo goes in not there, goes in there, and they'll connect that up. I'll set that as a priority, but I've just realised that, oh no, that's fine. I was going to say, a lot of them, a lot of the workers were going in there and saying, no, we, we can't get access to it, which was curious. Anyway, we'll get the door servo put in, then we'll connect that up. I'm a bit concerned about the amount of load on that door control system, actually. We'll double check that with our wiring and uh, we've got about maybe 10 or 12 doors on that, so it's not ideal, but it's also not immensely terrible so I'll just change that to normal and now we have our door servo there we do have to connect that up to the power and this is where I am gonna run into a problem the problem being that I need to connect this up to well something where we can pull a switch so I need more power the power however is going to require hmm some convoluted routing to say to say the least um okay in order to get this connected up to a something that would be here, how on earth would I do that? I would have to run it across, down, and across. That would it would cross this, it would bridge it. And this is an oxygen not included where you can have the certain bridges. You would just connect it up in this game. Ah. Uh, other games with our bridges also available. Um bridging when it comes to wiring, not like, you know, poly bridge. Other bridge building games are also available. Uh, right, so how are we going to do this? Uh, can run it down there, across there, that would not work out. All I could possibly do... See, all of this is on that grid. What I'd have to do is... Actually, it's a fairly simple job now that I look at it. We would connect that up, disconnect this, and have this come along and round. That's actually a really simple system. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to do just that. That's going to go in the corner. Five grand, though. Five grand. It's expensive, but, well, we need to get it done. So let's just place a couple of these in. We're getting shop intake. We're getting bank balance uh, increased for all the... For, like, people escaping. Escaping? <laughs> for people paroling. This is Prisoner Harris here. I wonder if they're going to be let out. They're going through the parole hearing. And 97% chance of reoffending. I wonder if they're going to kick off. Take bets now. Extremely deadly and a gang member. I'm just going to get an armed guard in there just to make sure. Um, you, can you just go? Can you just go there, please? Um, I haven't got on free fire. Just going to keep them around here. And see, they're going through this process of parole hearing. No, you can stay in there, Mr. Armed Guard. Just waiting for that program to finish. Keep telling them to go back. 
because I don't know whether or not they're going to be a little bit upset. Okay, the, the guard has now been assigned to a patrol. Oh, yes, it happened exactly as we may have expected. So I thought that that may happen. But even with an armed guard there with a taser, because of their extremely deadly trait, they did take out the parole officer. Even if I had that on free fire, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have helped anything. But it just shows you how deadly them can be. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Do I want to put an armed patrol around here? I mean, would it serve any purpose? Because that happens immediately. I don't know. I'll have a bit of a think about that one. Anyway, power requirements. Let's go over to here. We're going to dismantle utility. All the way down to about there. Then from here, this is going to come down. And... Did not bring that down. No. And demolish utility. Dismantle utility. And this is going to connect up there. Which should be okay. Why we can't get there? I can see we got the door control system in. So I'm wondering why that was the case. Well, it seems to be okay now. It's fine. Just a little, little glitch there. No problem. I think it's because... Oh, of course. The door servo doesn't have any power. Which means it can't open for them to <laughs> put the power cable in. Because... The game. <laughs> yeah. We've got a lot of door servers like around here that we don't need. Um, but we've put them in just so we can lock that shut if need be. Just adds a little bit extra security if that's, you know, desirable. It's uh, sleep time. We're going to do a shakedown. It's not something we've done in a little while. So we'll see if we can find any... See if we can find any... Um, any tunnels or anything. Looking at our grants, we've got Reform Through Education Initiative, which is most likely not going to happen. It's not necessarily the high-risk stuff. It's more the... It's more the gang stuff, as well as mainly the suppression-compliant trait from shotguns and stuff. People just don't seem to want to do reform programs when those are about. We've got one past 33% on the workshop safety induction, two interested still ongoing, so it means that hopefully we can obviously produce those license plates, but according to the statistics we've produced absolutely nothing. So, yeah, there you are. In terms of our people, we now have four protective custody, which is curious. It means we might have to move them over to here, to this other area, which is pretty much identical in terms of construction, it's pretty much identical. Certainly in benefits, it's the same as well. Got the same stuff in there. I'm having a quick scoot round just to see if anyone's like marked as a snitch that I've not that I've not noticed. And I mean there are lots of traits, but I'm not seeing anything untoward. I'm just gonna stop that shakedown. We were pretty much sorted there. Looks like we've got prisoner Richard Mead here. Three quarters through the parole hearing. 80% chance of reoffending. They're going to be let out. So this is the eat time. As we can see, people are headed to both canteens. I believe there's a Featherstone there. Matt Featherstone. 8808138. Aggravated assault. 12 years. Yeah. I wonder where O'Neill is. They would be assigned to this one most likely. There's another Featherstone. Christopher Featherstone. For those not aware, because it was about <laughs> a decade since uh, we first built it, when the game first came out and we did the original series back in the day. Is that not connected? It is really not connected. Um, we had Featherstone Prison because we had a couple of Featherstones that were always causing bother and became noteworthy, shall we say. So, in terms of food, food seems to be okay around there. In terms of needs, that food need has been fulfilled. There are some medium meat needs there, but no critical. Which means I'm not concerned about much what's going on there. That's fine. 
We have eight grand, so I think we can start building. So this is our death row area. It has a total of four cells. And I guess that would be acceptable. I'm going to go for jail doors on these cells just to allow easier access. For the other stuff though, we are going to stick with rare remote, I think. Although no, maybe the internals we won't go with remote, we'll just go jail. Because I mean if there's any problems, we can quickly access that. Because if we have any power down, we won't be able to get in there. These doors are fail safe, which means they won't just open up. Uh, open on trigger. Oh, that's the door servo. Um, remote door. There we go. That's open on trigger. So you can have it close on trigger. So it's always locked open. But we're going to have as that. I do need it connected up, obviously. That uh, <laughs> generally does help. So door control system. And that one. Why did that not work? It's not connecting. What's going on? Oh, it's connected. Sorry. Doing it the wrong way. So yeah, if I check that now. Close on trigger. Is it going to change? No. Might be the type of door. It's fine. Uh, it looks like there was a bit of fighting over here. A couple of people unconscious. Got a volatile member. And an Andrew... Now Batty, also unconscious. And a lot of blood around here. And they're fearless. Django. Okay. I don't know what's going on there, but it's definitely going on. So, this area. Let's build it. Security room. Cells. Death Row. Is now there because we've researched it. You can see the colours minor. <laughs> um, object wise, beds at the end. How much money have I got? Just under four grand. Should be fine. Those can go in there. Drains. And shower heads. So, I should point out that death row inmates do not leave the cells. Unlike protective custody where they can leave the cells and go to common rooms, the death rows do not at all under any circumstances. Well, apart from like healing and things like that. And even then, the people might come to them to heal. So I'm just rating these cells with most things that you could put in there. So we've got radios, bookshelves, office desks, chairs. Some people are a bit... Where's that noise coming from? He's fighting, technically. Ian Speed. Look, running after Gareth Cantifer, I think. Hmm. How curious. Also, this guy shouting about luxuries. That's Ian Crouch. Danger level going down, which is good. Still check our programs. Workshop safety, four interested, good. Pharmacological treatment on the go. Spiritual guidance on the go. One interested in foundation education. Doesn't seem to be much point in doing that. But power's, power's now in. Um, I will have to put, obviously, the chair in there. But we now have a new room called Death Row. Do we? No, it's called Execution, my mistake. Has been a while since I've built this thing. Five grand, not enough money. But we are going to receive another maximum security prisoner. We also have death row, but none available. It takes a while to cycle through. And I think it's based on the category of prisoners that you have. So I don't think if you just go for a low risk facility, you'll get a, a huge amount of high risk prisoners. Uh, security room, obviously this is due a build. Is that now done? We will have patrolling around here as well. Actually, staff deployment and patrols. It's actually not even armed patrol. It'll just be 
that. Um, actually, that's a good point. Deployment, guards. We're going to remove guard deployment from there. And arm patrol, I'll remove just the one. There's no point in having all those assigned there when there's nobody assigned here. There's just no point. I still want to keep someone there because, quite frankly, I'll end up forgetting <laughs> when we... Well, if we do get some gang leaders. Ten red gang members, eight green gang members, and nine blue gang members. Nothing being controlled. Yeah. But there it is. There's all the radi radiators? Radios. Don't need a metal detector here or anything. It's fine as it is. Um... Don't need that security door. Don't technically need that door servo there either, to be fair. Because, oh, no, that's a, that's been placed as a solitary door, so maybe we do. So, maybe I will change that to a remote door. I think I have one spare. I do have a remote door spare. I think we'll place one in then. Intake's okay. Food seems to be getting distributed evenly. Although, is that the same person? Mark Hornick shouting about luxuries. There will be a need for luxuries because, oh yeah, I need luxuries for about 30 people. That'll probably be all the gang members who are not working and have to extort the money. But without leaders, I don't know if they can do that because they don't take control of anything. And nothing can be thrown over the wall because everything's set off the right, uh, right distance and such. I do want to activate one of our one of our confidential informants. Tim would be ideal 94% coverage. <laughs> yeah. That would be good. Just to see if there's anything untoward. But I don't think there will be. Looks like over here is pretty much sorted. We're going to run a small pipe in there. That's going to connect that up. Completely fine. Capacitors. One, two. For now... Um, we're going to do that door that I mentioned earlier. So, remote door, followed by utilities, door servo, click. Let's get that done. This area here has obviously got no purpose. A couple of people have said, why don't we go with a cleaning cupboard? Yeah, it's probably what we'll end up doing, quite frankly. I know I hired a lot more janitors. We only had one, I think, at the time. We have uh, went for three extra, plus an additional gardener. We should be alright. There's that door servo. It's now placed, which means I can connect it up. We're now in. This means they should be able to, yep, get access to all of this. Good. I don't know what we've got in terms of grading. Uh, we are graded as grade 9. The only way we can get it any larger, uh, higher, sorry, than grading would be put a, uh, an outdoor window. I was going to say larger in terms of the size for the building, but no, because of the size of it, it's, it's 16 squares, so it's the highest uh, grade there. We don't actually have grading on. We've got use sale quality ratings off because it meant that the inmates couldn't use these because they weren't entitled to them. There's the problem I thought we may have. Why is that not opening? Door control system is certainly wired up. Have I wired that up wrong? That should be staff only for a start off. Connections. Is it because I've got it the other way around? It is. So it's... There. To there. Yeah, I thought so. That one always force open for them. Okay. Execution then. Objects. Electric chair. Click. And I believe you need actual chairs in here as well. So that should be fine. Just a bit of flooring in now. We'll have um, concrete tiles in here. These are all going to be concrete tiles, but I have no idea enough money. And I would like to have like the green flooring in there, but we don't have the... There isn't any green flooring in this, so we're going to go with ceramic, I think. Which is, I think, the most expensive flooring in the game, or at least close to it. 
Well, it's 50. Yeah, so it is It is the most expensive. Oh, no, 55. No, 50 is still wooden floor. Yeah, so 50 is uh, the most expensive. This will be about 10 grand, I think. <laughs> 2,100 for that tiny bit of flooring. Wow, okay. Fair enough. Little fight there. Apparently the expert fighter has decided to, I'm guessing, punch an armed guard because there was a shotgun on the floor there. Hmm, how curious. Either way, that's been a bit of prison architect. We've got this canteen finished. I have not got the patrol in it though, so I will sort that out. Do I need a dog patrol and an armed patrol? I mean, ideally, yeah, we do. So I'm going to do that. So there's that. I'm going to remove some of these from that patrol. We don't need that many people assigned to that now if we're going to have this down here. Um, armed patrol. And then was it dog patrol? Dog patrol on the bottom there. Yes, yeah, so we've got the same in each one. So we've not really used any more staff. We've just moved things around. But so far, and only so far, things are working out. Things are working out. So can we intake? Let's keep death row open. Fill, fill to capacity. That's all set to death row. Double checking. Yes, it is. Staff only on that one there. Yep, that's good. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. Not as eventful as last time, but that is not a complaint, just an observation. We've had only... Uh, we've had the death and parole and the odd fight here and there. But certainly nothing like what we've seen previous, which is brilliant. So, next episode, we'll finish off flooring and things like that around here. And... Really, we're on the home straight of figuring out exactly what we want to do with the facility. We're not going to be expanding any more. That's not desirable nor needed. Um, we do need to finish off the workshop. We do need to put something in here. There'll be the odds and end bits to do. And then, obviously, we'll see where we go from there. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series of Spark Commons in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.